good, y'all. Y'all see the title. Today, we are in Tokyo, Japan, and I got an idea. Big, big shout out to Deji, but we're about to do a KFC taste test. Now, it is anybody who know KFC really good. It's me. I love KFC. I eat it all the time, as you can probably tell, but does KFC taste different in another country? We're about to see if KFC over here tastes the same or tastes better than KFC in the U.S. Do they know how to make KFC good? Does it have the same ingredients? Does it taste anything like your boy like? Let's go taste this fried chicken. All right, so I got to think what I'm going to order. I think I'm going to order a bucket of chicken. 20 piece, 30 piece, 50 piece, the whole menu. All right, let's go see, man. Ever since I've been here, I have been practicing my bow. I didn't think it was real until I got here. I realized it's a sign of respect. How you doing? Can I get a bucket of chicken? Using English? Yeah, English. Perfect. Oh, okay. Done. Take away. Bucket. Bucket, yes. Yeah. Hungry. Oh. You want some too? A little bit? All right, yeah, for sure. So I want this. Is it a bucket? Yes, yes. Oh, but how many? Let me get, you get three of those. Do y'all have uh, extra crispy here? Oh, y'all got ribs here. Let's see, I'm gonna get some boneless too. So that's nine. Um, you want anything? You good? Okay, I bet for sure, for sure. You got pot pie, let me see. Egg tart, okay. We got some options. I see a lot of stuff that I don't see in America here, so that's good. Demi glazed pot pie. Oh, that's a combo though. Rich cheese pot pie. Yeah, cause it's like rich like the money and then cheese cause cheese is also another word for money as well. Small fry. And then um, drink. Perfect. Ooh, look at the drink flavors. So we got, what's nacho? Orange. Orange. Melon, okay. Melon gonna taste good. Uh, no ice. It's cold outside. And then I'm gonna try another drink. What's the Oolong? Oolong. Uh, oh, oolong? Uh, oolong tea. Uh, Coca-Cola? Is, is that like soda or something? Or uh, tea? Yes, yes. This is, no, this is tea. Hot tea? I'm, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna get it. I'm always trying to think like, I never know how much yeah. stuff is without going on my phone and translate it. So I just look at how much I have in my Apple Pay, pay and then afterwards I have to subtract to see how much I spent. All right, y'all just spent 5,300 American dollars on KFC. Should be good, you know what I'm saying? Trying to see what KFC tastes like. There, there is a lot of different stuff. I don't know if y'all saw it on the menu, but like our pot pies don't look like this, but this is what theirs look like. So I did get a pot pie also. I didn't just get chicken. I don't usually ever get a sandwich, so I didn't get a sandwich this time, but yeah. Every time I travel, I like always never try to hit a chain restaurant, right? Especially if I go to another country, I wouldn't try to come to like a US restaurant here. I would like to try their own restaurant. But for the purpose of this video, I had to come here. But I do think it will be interesting to see. I feel like their batter is probably different or like how long they fry it may be different or maybe, I don't know, something. But I would say, because U.S. is unhealthier as far as food-wise, I think U.S. is gonna taste better. Now, just because it tastes better don't mean that it is better. I'm gonna assume this is healthier, less good tasting version of the KFC that I'm used to, but I'll be able to know instantly, so we gonna see, we gonna find out. Yeah, probably. You want? Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you. How many do you want? Uh, two. Thank you. Got the food here. Let's go try it. All right, y'all. We did get the chicken. You know what I'm saying? They do double, like triple, quadruple wrap it. So you're not getting grease all over your your hands or your plate. Is that a Bentley Bentayga? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Japan out here doing it, that is hard, bro. Kinda make me wanna get rid of my range. All right, let's go test it out. All right, y'all, before we continue with this video, this video is sponsored by Prize Picks. If y'all love to make daily sports picks like me, make sure y'all download the Prize Picks app. Right now, I have you guys with a 100% deposit bonus code up to $100. It's literally easy. Just get your phone out, download it, type in Pudi, and they'll match your deposit up to 100%. So if you put in $100, they'll match and you have 200, or if you put in 10, they'll match and you have 20. Instead of doing picks on teams, you do it on the 
individual player. So the team could lose, but you could still win money on the player. Take advantage of that promo code, download the app, use code Pooty. Thanks for Price Picks for sponsoring this video. Make sure y'all download the Price Pick app. And let's continue with this video. It's Young Pooty Picks. We back, we in action. We got the KFC. First, let me go ahead and show y'all what we got. Y'all saw we did get some chicken. Next up, we got a bag of some sort. It looks like these are the sides. We're gonna go ahead and check what that looks like in a second. And then we got this. This is the pot pie. We got two drinks that I'm gonna try. I've never seen a green drink. We got this one, and then we also got some deodorant. All right, y'all, let's officially get it. First, we're gonna open up these sides. I'll be destroying my bag, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it just like that. I'm gonna lay out everything first. We got a pot pie that looks like a like a piece of bread that got molded onto an object and 3D printed. We got chicken. And by the way, I did open it first to see it. I don't know if I showed, but the chicken was super wrapped. Like it was, it was like wrapped, like it was protected. Like there was no, no chance of grease going on the outside and nothing. And then I think these are the ribs or something. I think these are the ribs. Let's start digging in, y'all. We got a cheese pie. Don't know what a cheese pie is, but let's go ahead and try it. I'm gonna crunch over this, so my fault. A little ASMR for y'all. The cheese is actually really good. This is actually fire. I'm not even gonna lie. This is fire. KFC size in US isn't all that. Like, their, their cookies are one of the most worst cookies I've ever had. But yeah, their sides aren't all that. This cheese is, no, this cheese is the same cheese as a spray on cheese. I'm gonna be honest. This is spray on cheese. I forgot what that's called. But this together tastes fire. I can dig that. That's really good. That's it is really good. Next we have, so these are the extra crispy like boneless chicken strip. Let's let's, let's try to crisp along. You ever order like sushi and they have like the like tempura shrimp or whatever that like breaded version that's what this tastes like the outside the outside fry part also too on the side of that it also reminds me of like the mcdonald's the chicken nuggets breading it kind of this is a mcdonald's chicken nugget stretched out long bro not the chicken but definitely the crunch which has a big part of the taste it's a little flavorless it's a little flavorless um it's not nasty it's just really bland I'm, this yeah this is really bland next up we got fries U.S. fries is better. U.S. fries is better, 100%. Just bland, like it, it just, um, just like it's just pointless. But mind you, my my taste buds is so Americanized. I'm used to that super unhealthy shit. Used to a million spices in one. Very bland. However, I would grew up with this. You know, it's hard to get like hooked on fries. I know a lot of people who will like go to a fast food restaurant just to buy the fries. This is a cheese custard or like a custard or some shit. I forgot what the fuck this is. cheese custard. Looks very good. We we don't have this at KFC in the U.S. Unless the shit just came out. Amazing. This is really good. The fact that I got this from a KFC, bro, this is like a creme brulee, bro. This is really good. I ain't gonna lie, they shit it with, with the sides, bro. That is really good. I know I'm not giving ratings, but boy, this is a 10. This is a 10. <laughs> He's looking like, damn, I want some of that shit. He's looking behind the camera, like, don't eat the last bite. Bro, dog, nigga behind the camera drew it, bro. All my life, bro, he had a spit roll down his cheek when I, when I was eating this, bro. Like, <laughs> I've been going to the 7-Eleven here every single day just because they have like the coolest sweet snacks on their bakery section, the 7-Eleven, the losses, and the food mart. That is better than anything I've got there. I'm so serious. That shit is amazing. Next, we're going to do the pot pie, and eventually we are getting to the chicken. And my bad, y'all. Y'all probably can't see over this. Mind you, the chicken strip has nothing to do with the chicken. So this is the pot pie. I am a KFC pot pie connoisseur. Since 2015, I've been a big fan of the pot pies at KFC. It's actually the only pot pies I get. I think they do it right. Get a nice little. See, I'll know if it's supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's go ahead and put some crunch in there. You gotta. All right, so compared to the US, this is smaller. This is healthier, but it's not bad. 
it's not, it does not taste bad. They, I feel like um, this country typically uses a lot less spices than the US. However, that's not always a bad thing. It just isn't bad. <coughs> Trust me, I get KFC pot pies more than anybody. However, why I what, I what I don't like about this is this is a chicken pot pie. There's no chicken in here. In the KFC ones in the US, you literally get pieces of, of like chicken in it, like from like a, a from their like wings or drums or whatever. It's not bland. It's not bland at all. Just not. It's not spiced or it's not seasoned drip, uh, driven like the one in the US. I want to try this green drink, y'all. By the way, I ordered a large because I know this is their largest size. I know that their large, holy shit, there's no fucking way. There's no way. There is no way. Our large. I ordered a large because our large. I ordered a large because their large is like our medium, bro. They didn't even fill it to the brim, bro. Bro, that's like three inches. Bro, look how deep my hand go without getting wet, bro. Just a tip. Well, watch this. Watch this. Nothing on my finger, right? Look how deep it go without without getting wet, bro. What the fuck? So in other words, I got a large. I ordered a large and got a small. Uh, this is this is a U.S. small, bro. I don't know what green thing is. I told him no ice, but this is crazy. It definitely tastes green. I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know what flavor it is, but it definitely tastes like the color supposed to be green, not like a, a healthy green or no green. It tastes whatever green flavor is, bro. Maybe a watermelon. Maybe I don't know. Tastes is good though. It's good. Next, this is called oolong tea or oolong soda. That shit was ass. I think this is unsweetened tea. I mean, it's not like, it's definitely no sugar, bro. I don't, I have no idea what, what that is. No idea what that is. But let's not waste time. Let's go ahead and get to this chicken, y'all. It's time. Black guy tries Japan's chicken. They need more seasoning, dog. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. They need, they, they need some more seasoning. It's not bad, but I think on the same line with everything else, they don't season it the same way in the US. It's how it's supposed to be seasoned, though. It's just missing that that extra little, you know, it is, it is missing it. I guessed it. I was like, I think US versions is going to taste better just because we're typically more unhealthy when it comes to cooking. This is their ribs. I don't have this in US. I can't see. This is buy. And I kind of realized something. Just about everything that we don't have, I don't think it's that bad. And what I realized about that is I'm so used to having the super seasoned version of something that when I try a way less seasoned version of it, I don't really, it's not as comparable. But if I don't have nothing to compare it on, my brain or my taste buds instantly just judge it for what it is. And I'm trying to do that for everything. But like, this is the most seasoned. But I, I still wouldn't be like, oh, I'm in Tokyo. Let me get KFC ribs. You know what I'm saying? The same way someone from China won't be like, oh, I'm in, maybe. I'm in the U.S. So let me get Panda Express. Let me get Americanized version of, of my food that we have already the real way, you know? Not bad. If you want me to be honest, I wish that, like, from the jump, from the start, our KFC was like this. Because... Then it wouldn't be so, you know, so bad and uh, so bad for your health and everything. This isn't bad. It's just way less seasoned than ours, you know? The recipe we have for the KFC chicken run, it's so good, bro. I could literally, all my life, I could literally just get the skin and just eat the, I don't even have to eat the chicken. <laughs> I could just eat the skin. And a lot of time, it even skin. This is like the batter, bro. I could really just eat that for real. So that's my review from what I got here. What would I get next time? Me, personally, I'm getting that custard thing. The little thing I said I was a 10 out of 10. And then this, uh, this cheese pie 
was very good as well. Once again, that is it for the Black Guy Tries Japanese KFC. Thanks again, Deji, for the idea. Let me know what other stuff y'all wanna see me try. Also, new main channel video from Tokyo, Japan. From Japan is out right now, link in the description. I love y'all, see y'all next time.